All right, guys, welcome back to episode 21 of Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles. So, last episode, we did the Applied Energistics, sorry, not Applied Energistics, the Actually Additions um, and Power over here. And I've been kind of working on that a little bit. Um, I'm going to make a little room over there to automate this a little bit better. But what I want to do today is work on our refined storage system. Um, because that will help us with the automation and it will give us more storage because we are actually running out of storage here Now I could make some more chests and more barrels, but why do that if I'm so close to getting the refined storage, right? Um, so I spent a lot of time getting a bunch of iron for steel and this special infused iron as well um, I should have enough to at least get started here uh, I think the first thing we got to do if you look at the quest book is get the binding right yeah process binding we need eight of them at least but i'm gonna make more than that for sure um so let's see binding let's make four of those i only made oh because it makes 16 that makes sense uh, i'll make a stack for now uh and then to make the actual uh other type of processors we need uh, a microchip or I guess microchip a basic control circuit and some advanced control circuits which we can do all three um, and then this one requires some uh, iron silicone plates this one requires some infused silicone and some red alloy and get so we should be able to do all of this um, I'm not sure if I have any microchips set up right now I have four of them okay that should at least get us started um what do i need to get more of these so i can just get them set up here all right so we need oh wow this would be nice yeah we don't we don't have that yet um what was it microchips all right so we need some control circuits gold transistors electrotine and some rest red alloy ingots uh so we have gold transistors uh let's see if we dump that in here for now red alloy there's a we're gonna need a lot of this red alloy stuff i should probably make a bunch of this if i can here uh what is it just iron and redstone yeah okay let me make a bunch of this stuff iron I just bind it over here. Make like four stacks or four of them at least. Um, some redstone. Might be, might need some more redstone. But uh, this at least should get us started here. Uh, how much was it per? Okay, so it was five and one. Is it the same thing over here? Yeah, five and one. So if I have uh, four of these guys, I need 20. Okay, I'll get that going. That should uh, at least continue going. We have a little bit of red, red alloy over here. Um, I'm going to put some of that in here. I don't know how much I need, to be honest. And what else was I missing? Uh, Electrotine. Okay. So we can have some of that. Electrotine. We have a couple of them dump that in here that should start creating some more of these microchips and while that goes we can claim this we get one more basic circuit and here we can so it wants us to make a basic processor so yeah so we need these microchips i'm gonna do two of them for now um actually i might just do all four of them yeah i might just do all four of them and then I might need more silicone plates, but I think that should be fine. 
uh, all four of them because I know we're going to need them. And do I have a furnace down here? I don't. I should really get one down here. I've just been using the Inferium furnace over here. Let's get some coal. And yeah. All right. So once we get the basic processor, we also want to get the construction core. So how do we do that? Construct. If I can spell. Construction core is some plate, some lumium. All right. So this shouldn't be too bad. What was this again? I think it was through molten lumium. Yeah, right here. Glowstone, tin, and silver. Do we have any lumium at all? We have four. I think I think that's enough, right? Just to make that one. But I should also get some. What was this? I think it was silver. Silver tin. Um, and glowstone. Uh, I can't remember how much glowstone it was. I think it might need, I think it's eight per, we'll see. Hopefully that's enough. Uh, turn this off here. Hopefully that makes what we, what we need. Uh, okay. So let's go up here. Let's grab these basic, uh, processors that completes that quest. And if we grab the lumium plates, let's see here. Now we can do the construction core, which should be easy. We do have that did not craft what I wanted to. Okay. I might, must be missing something. That's fine. We don't need it at the moment. And then the construction core, I should be able to make one of those and we get an advanced processor from that, which is nice. And then it wants us to make the controller. Perfect. So this is what we want. This is what, what we're, we got to start. Um, so, okay. So. We have the advanced processor it gave it to us. We have, I think we have some microchip tier twos right in here. Yeah, we do. That's perfect. Um, what else do we need? We need some plates. We have all these plates, I believe already. Um, the gears I need. So I need more red alloy, which is actually being made right now. Uh, the enriched alloy is just some steel, which I have. And what's this? Pulverized coal, pulverized tin, and some copper. All right, so I think we can make all this. I'm going to go ahead and get it ready. Um, I'm also probably going to go ahead and get this stuff ready as well. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to need all that here. And then I'll probably make some importers, some uh, external storage, and some and the stuff for the disk drive as well. So let me go ahead and get that, sh get that stuff ready. And uh, yeah, a lot longer than I expected. Um, we, I think I have, I should have everything that we need for the grid, the controller. Uh, I made a bunch of cables and, uh, disk drives and even the, at least one storage, um, disc. But yeah, that took a while. <laughs> um, it was pretty much just a lot of different parts that we had to grab the craft. Um, and a lot, a lot of the, uh, engineer, um, workshop stuff as well the cables and all that i kind of want to try to get to a carpenter as soon as possible because that's going to speed up th that process and i think now that we have the empower we, we should have that already um everything else we might already have as well i have to double check but i think that's probably the next thing we're going to do here uh either today or the next episode but we'll see so let's get started here we want the controller um so yeah let's see if i have enough room for this uh it was the plates put this stuff away i don't even know what it was i think it was this coolant the regular gear uh these cards i think it was that this and this maybe no i'm missing a couple things here and okay, let me put away some other stuff here i think it's this as well and the plastic Maybe <laughs> we'll see here. Let's see. 
what happens? What am I missing? I gotta put do it in this guy here. Elite crafting. I am missing the construction cores and the advanced advanced circuit right here. Construction cores. There we go. So we have the refined storage controller. Um, now I'm not entirely sure where I want to put this. I think for now, I am probably going to put this somewhere in the middle here. Uh, maybe I'll take this out on the, from the side and, uh, put it here somewhere. Should I just make this like that? And do that. Yeah, I'll just do that for now. Um, all right, so we have the controller and then I'm pretty sure the next thing in the quest is the, um, storage disk drive. Yeah. So claim the controller, we get some more plates and stuff. Um, well, what is this? Oh, I'll claim this after Actually, it does give us two basic control circuits, which is nice, but I'll claim that after. So now is the disk drive that we need. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Ah, man. I, or, or did I? I can't remember if I set this up here or not. No. Okay, so we might need... Actually, that might be enough. We didn't do the logistic uh, pipe or whatever it was here. This guy right here, logistical sorter. Oh, but that's super easy. Okay, yeah. That's no problem at all. So let me go ahead and get that done. Do I have a, let me just put some stuff away here. My inventory is a whole mess. <laughs> um, all right. I need a piston. I don't know if I have a piston or not. I do. Perfect. Why well, my cap lock? There we go. Um, piston, iron, and one of these guys. Okay. That, that should be perfect. There we go. Okay, so what I need, I need that two construction cores again. Oh no, one construction core, one advanced processor. Oh, I may have misread this. I think that I think I saw this as two construction cores. So I might have to do that here. Um, everything else I should have. Yeah, we have two construction cores. I need one advanced processor. Hmm. Um, what else am I missing? The, the chests, I have a few of them over here. The plates, oh wait, did I not get this? Steel plates, I think it is, right? Okay, yeah, so I'm missing the advanced processor here. Uh, that should be easy to do, actually. I have, yeah, I have an extra advanced circuit over there. Let me go ahead and get this done. Actually, I can probably do it right now. Uh, rest of alloy, some diamonds. And silicone, one of you guys, right? Oh, no, not you. Not you. Perfect. And just smelt that up. That should be fairly quick. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's just a lot of little crafts here and there. And having this advanced, sorry, this refined storage is going to help a lot because I can essentially automate a lot of it. <laughs> Especially if you can get the carpenter. I can, I, I don't know if I can do it with the um, mechanical stuff, the artisan stuff, but I can definitely do it with the carpenter and also he uses less resources when it, when we uh, use that as well. Okay, so we have everything now for the disk drive. There we go. And that gives us, oh, that gives us a storage housing as well. Okay, perfect. And then it wants us to get one, one K storage part. We actually already did one of those. So that should claim as well. And it gives us another one, which is nice. I did not know that, which is, it's good. It's good. And then we can make the, this, I think I can just combine the, um, storage part with the housing. Yeah, there we go. And the housing, it should be pretty easy to do as well. Yeah, I might make another one that way we have two discs. Um, let's see here. Housing 
make one more or oh, i need one more special infused iron i'm already out of that oh man <laughs> oh man oh that's too much that's too much i just need a few of these to convert uh over here there we go so yeah so the disk drive i can put it there and i can put the disk in there as well um and i'm surprised it hasn't made us do the oh it gives us another housing here okay perfect <laughs> and i can do that and i'm surprised they didn't make us do the grid at all um yeah it looks like it stops there so if that's the case i'm gonna go ahead and just craft the grid i thought it was gonna make us do it that's why i didn't i didn't craft it yet but i should have everything for it what, what am i missing here the grid i need oh i need one more advanced control circuit instruction core i think we have an improved processor i thought i made this maybe not um Let's see. Can I do this here very quickly? Improved processor. Make one of you. I mean, silicone. I thought I had silicone here. No, no silicone plates. I leave it. Maybe it in here. No. Huh. All right. Well. Get a few of those. I thought I made a bunch of them. Uh, compact them in here. What else am I missing? The advanced control circuit. That's in here. Which I need one of you. Was it two? Oh, actually, one one thing I did do here. Um, instead of using this recipe. I started using this recipe over here. It requires advanced alloy ingots, but that's actually super easy to do. Um, it's just three steel, three bronze, and three tin. Now, it, it seems like it could be a waste of steel, but actually, when you, when you look at it, um, at least for from the advanced alloy perspective, um, uh, when you make these advanced circuits, it requires two steels anyways. Why can't I see this here? Right, and here, so it makes three advanced alloys, so technically that's two steel anyways. <laughs> so I, I think it comes out better uh, because we get three advanced control circuits out of it. So yeah, that's why I converted to this. Um, so I think I should have everything. What am I missing here? For the advanced. So I have... Uh, maybe the gold basic control circuits advanced alloy ingots I have the gold um okay there we go I think I think that should do it and that should make three of them over here maybe hello or am I missing oh, okay I think I'm missing some uh some super glue I think I'm out of rubber. I gotta go get some more rubber as well. So much things I need. <laughs> Put you in there. And that should craft the advanced circuits that I need. And I should have the silicone plates right here. Yep. There we go. We get three in one. So that's actually pretty good. All right. So now we have uh what, what do we need here we needed we needed something now i forgot what why did i need this silicone plate do you guys remember oh right oh but then I, now i need a control circuit uh i think there was a quest i can grab right that gave us some yeah i'm choosing that for sure <laughs> i'm just too lazy to make it <laughs> uh all right now i can do that Actually, I thought I had. No, I don't. Okay, I'm making sure. Making sure I don't have that processor already done. I thought I already did, but I guess not. 
So yeah. Do that and smelt you. And then we should have everything for the grid now. Um and then from the grid, I think I can create the crafting one. Or is this already the crafting one? Or maybe I should be doing that instead. Crafting grid. Oh, okay. You know what? I should be doing this instead. Okay, because normally you need the grid to make the crafting grid. It looks like in, in this case, we don't need that. All right. All right. So good thing I didn't make this yet, actually. Um, because I will save myself on a couple parts here. I need an empowered Nori gear, which shouldn't be too bad. Uh, Mana steel. Okay. So, so someone told me that I can in, uh, create the blocks instead of the, for example, the for the Restonia. But it, how do I do the block of redstone then, in the block form? How does that work? Oh, it just oh, it's just one block of redstone still. Okay, and it's just one blood iron ingot. Okay, I guess I can do that. So I just need uh some mana steel. All right, so I don't think I need you anymore. Uh, I need some mana steel, which I gotta go yet so you know what let me go ahead and sleep here and then i think when we come back we should have everything all right so i'm just doing the um nori empowered nori stuff here i think i have everything you there we go i have to it's gonna keep dropping in that Uh, I can do that. Let me put this back in here for now. Sure. Um, yeah, I, I was automating this a little bit. I have a bunch of these um, empowered, I, oh, I guess crystallized canola seeds. Uh, I haven't actually made them into power yet because I do want to set up an automation thing for that. Um, but I had a bunch of them started to kind of kickstart us off with that. As soon as I have the uh, refined storage here with us. Oh, what? I just put it back in, didn't I? Okay. And then in the middle, I have the, or I need the Inori crystal block. Which I think I might actually have to go make one. Inori, I have eight. I need one more. Let's go do this quickly. All right. So then this should give us an empowered Nori block, which makes us nine. So we save on the blood, I guess, whatever iron and on some redstone here. By doing it this way i think and maybe even the brick can't remember but that should complete here in a second let's see how long it takes okay so it didn't take too too long um just a few seconds there and i'll put you back in there yeah so i need i need to put a system to auto pull um, from under, but yeah, that, that's going to be later on. Anyways, I think I have everything for the crafting grid. And that should be, well, I guess it's in here. Oh, gotta convert this into a gear. Can I do it through the compactor? No, I guess I can if I had the gear work. Uh, working die. All right, let me just make one of these here quickly. I want to use bronze. Um, I think I have tin. All 
make one of you and that should be everything we need for the crafting grid here perfect upgrade your grid i didn't even make the other one <laughs> and i can just dump that on top here and we can dump start dumping stuff in here um so yeah we have refined storage i have a bunch of cables that i made i'm gonna connect it to at least um this storage system here i, I should be able to just connect it to a drawer controller it should see all this stuff uh i don't know what i'm gonna do with the crates because that means i'm gonna have to make a bunch of um importers or sorry not importers the external storage ones which i guess is not too bad it is just one cable the cores might be a bit of a um, issue and the processor here but for now i'm gonna at least connect to this stuff here um do i have the cables where are they right here but yeah, we can definitely at least start messing around with uh, refined storage and setting that up. I'll probably also connect to a bunch of these uh, machines. And we should be able to automate that quite easily now. Um, it's just going to take, let's see here, for the crafters. Ooh, okay. So yeah, I, I think our, our main downfall here is going to be these cores. I guess the cores aren't too bad. The construction core at least is not too bad. The uh, construction core needs lumium, which I think silver might be a bit of an issue for us there. Um, but then these advanced processors, that's going to be uh, a pain to make. Like It's not like we can't do it. We've done a bunch of these already. Um, but yeah, maybe I should focus on getting the carpenter because with the same, actually with less resources, what is it over here? This guy right here. Yeah, so less resources and we make three control circuits. So we save on some plates, I guess. Is that it that we save on for this one? Yeah, so actually, I guess for, for the advanced control circuits, this might not be a big, a big issue. Um, but there's other recipes here where you save quite a, quite a bit and it helps out. So yeah, maybe I should focus on this carpenter first. And then I will, um, I should be able to kind of automate a bunch of this stuff later on. Okay, guys. So I think that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, I'll just check in my time. And yeah, we are about 25 minutes in. Um, I think that's good for the episode. Uh, what I'm going to do in between episodes is probably craft a bunch of these crafters. Um, a bunch of these external storage cables and stuff like that. Importers. And I'm going to try to rearrange all our storage and have it a bit more compact, more, um, I guess, uh, more easily accessible. Um, the one problem with having the refined storage now is I don't think I can use this here to find it. If I scan, I don't think we can find the refined storage here. So that means we can't really use our, uh, storage tablet anymore at least not as easily um because we're gonna have some stuff in the, the storage disk here right so but we'll, we'll see I, i'll figure something out um maybe there's a way to connect them somehow i gotta look it up uh, but i did try a couple things before in the test world and i couldn't really get them to connect but we'll see we'll see um anyways that is gonna be it if you liked if you enjoyed please leave a like uh, subscribe if you haven't already that will help me out a ton I want to see if I can try to get to 100 subscribers here in a couple months. Um, I know I don't really post out a bunch of videos too often. Um, I have a lot of other stuff to do. You know, I'm kind of just doing this for fun anyways. So, but I am going to try to post more videos um, when I can. And I might even do another series. Um, there's other games I play and I'm just trying to decide which which one would be fun to, to record for you guys here. Um, but yeah. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me today, and uh, have a great day, guys.